In this video, I am going to explain the robot cylindrical configurations. It has uh, two linear motions and one rotary motion. The first coordinate describes the angle theta of base rotation about the uh, up and down axis, that is the vertical axis. The second coordinate describes the radial in or out motion along y axis, that is perpendicular to the vertical axis. The third coordinate describes up and down motion along the z axis. So, with the help of these three motions, we can control the work envelope workspace in a cylindrical shape. That is why you can call it as a cylindrical configuration. A cylindrical robot configuration refers to a type of robotic system that has a cylindrical shape. Now look at uh, the animation of uh, how this uh, uh, end effector will cover the space. Uh, it's easy to understand with the help of these animations. Now lo lo look at these uh, diagrams. Uh, let me select the laser pointer for easy understanding. Now you can see that this is the Jedi axis. It's uh, moving the vertical up on the entire setup will move vertical up and down di direction. You can see that uh, this manipulator, how it will move up and down. It will control the height of the cylinder. It will control the height of the cylinder. So, this is the one translatory motion of the manipulator. And next, we will see the rotation about this z axis. Rotation about z axis, it will cover in circular fashion. So, how much angle you can uh, enter? If it's 360 degrees, it will uh, continue its rotation for one complete revolution. If it is 270, only three fourth uh, 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 arc it will cover. Like that, as per our requirement, we can control, manipulate, uh, and we can move them, uh, this end effector in circular fashion. Now, let us see this uh, simulation of how the end effector is. This end effector will move in circular about this vertical axis about this uh, z, z axis that will control this circular uh, shape of the work area so this is the the entire the area where uh, the end effector can uh, reach now we will see that the end effector will move in, in radial direction in and out to cover this radial depth we will see the simulation so now this, it will move in and out toward this center of the axis or vertical axis of the manipulator. It will control the inner radius and outer radius of the work envelope that you can able to see in the cylindrical robot. Now, these are the three motions. One is this vertical motion and the second one is a to and fro that in and out motion. These two are the linear motions and the third one is the circular motion. With the help of these three motions, we can cover entire cylindrical space that work area. So, what are the advantages of this robot? Their vertical structure conjures floor space. Their deep horizontal reach is useful for far-reaching operations. Their capacity is capable of carrying the large payloads, good access into cavities and mission openings, very powerful when hydraulic drives used, simple kinematic model, easy to visualize. What are the disadvantages? Their overall mechanical rigidity is lower than that of the rectilinear robots because their uh, rotary axis must overcome the inertia. Their repeatability and accuracy are also lower in the direction of rotary. So their configuration requires more sophisticated control system than the rectangular robots, restricted workspace, back of robot can overlap work value, and prismatic guides difficult to seal from dust and the liquid. Some of the few, the disadvantages of these robot configurations. And what are the different applications of this uh, robot, uh, uh, the cylindrical configuration, that is the assembly divisions we can use, and coating applications, conveyor pallet transfer, die casting, foundry and forging applications, inspecting molding, investment casting, mission loading and unloading, we are used the uh, application of this cylindrical uh, configurations. Now look at uh, this uh, two the uh, uh, manipulators. Now you can see this is, uh, so this entire uh, this setup will uh, rotate about this vertical axis and this, it can be moved in and out and this also move up and down. So it covers these two translatory motions and rotary motion to cover the entire cylindrical envelope of the work area. Similar to this also, this also you can see that this entire setup will rotate about this vertical axis and this can move in and out to cover the radial depth and move up and down to cover the height of the cylindrical area. Now let us see for better understanding. Now we can 
Let's we'll see that uh, the video. See that how it will move the vertical moment. It will cover this uh, uh, unloading and uh, pick this glass of water and again it will move and keep in the face. This, this is the circular motion and there is a two motion. This is in and out and also up and down. These two translatory motions, one rotary motion will be used in the electrical robot configurations. I hope everyone understand. Um, uh, cylindrical uh, manipulator wheel works.